so I'm Annabelle Cater and we're here on Bonnington um, in the Lower Hunter at Gresford. So we're four years on from implementing some grazing planning changes. We uh, have intensified our grazing over the last four years, subdividing paddocks and uh, mobbing up the cattle into bigger mobs. So I suppose what we've noticed is the changes in the grass composition. Lifting those carpet grass and cooch paddocks up to Paspalum and um, Kaikuyu in the areas that it'll, it'll grow. But starting to get um, better, better pasture species coming in. We see our natives, uh, microlina and some of those little legumes, glycines, um, starting to appear where they didn't really um, pop up before. And that's that, that's that rest period that the, that the grasses get in between um, not getting the second bite every time when, when they're set stock. We have had three very good seasons, but we have seen a, a lot more bulk of grass. So the, the quantity of grass has improved and the quality, the, the composition of the grasses that we're growing. That really gives us options on the farm. We, we're growing more grass, therefore we, we've got options. Um, carrying stock through winter now is less stressful. Uh, we can look at supplements to, to use that, that um, bulk of grass. Even if it's not high quality feed, we can use supplements to get the cattle using that through winter. We can um, carry more stock on the same amount of land and just improve our weaner weight and all the aspects of, of our um, performance on the farm. Having a, a smaller paddocks has meant the, the cattle moves are actually easier. Um, you have to watch that the stock don't push you around. Uh, but it has, the fencing isn't too onerous. We're, we're using pretty light fencing, two-wire two electric fencing, and not too costly. So we're always looking for more subdivisions and um, always keen to divide paddocks further once once you start, it's, it's difficult to um, slow down on the subdivision because you can see the, the differences in the grasses and the, the difference it makes. Um, we're also looking to focus now on our soils and soil health, try and get the soil biology really functioning well. As the soil improves, we'll be able to um, buffer those changes in the, in the climate and in, the, in the, those dry temperatures.